Welcome to the Audiology DVD that has been produced to supplement the information that your audiologist gave you at your hearing aid fitting appointment. The audiologist will have explained your hearing loss and prescribed and fitted you with one of the latest digital hearing aids on the market. He or she will have referred to your hearing loss as being a sensory neural hearing loss. It is important to understand what this type of hearing loss means to you and what can be achieved by using a digital hearing aid. So what is a sensory neural hearing loss? Well, while you're listening and watching this DVD, sound is travelling from the speaker on your television through the air to your pinna. The pinna guides the sound down your ear canal to your eardrum. At this point, your eardrum will vibrate and the sound will pass through the eardrum and through three bones in your middle ear, where the sound will continue to the cochlea. Inside the cochlea, there are thousands of rows of hair cells, and their job is to take the sound that you're hearing right now, changing that sound from a sound to an electrical signal, which is then sent to your brain, which will interpret this signal as speech, music, or whatever you're listening to. The hair cells have a certain shape, but for this DVD, let's consider the hair cells are shaped a bit like the Alps, triangular with a nice point at the top which pierces the clouds. So within your cochlea, these hair cells will be arranged like a nice pointed mountain range. However, with a sensory neural hearing loss, a lot of these pointed hair cells will have lost their points and are now blunt, which means the signal sent from your cochlea to your brain will now be smudged and unclear for the brain to process. So what does this mean for you? Well, for example, in a crowded room, you will find that you can hear everyone chatting, but you cannot always hear what is actually being said. This would also mean you may be turning up your TV a little bit louder than everyone else as you try and make out what is being said, and you may often find it more difficult to hear women than men. You will struggle with different accents or quietly spoken people on the telephone. So how often should you wear your hearing aid? The simple answer is all day, every day. Continued use of the hearing aid all day, every day will provide the brain with increased stimulation. This device will look at your hearing loss and make the sounds you do not hear very well more audible. A digital hearing aid will adapt and improve your ability to hear sounds you were missing before you came to audiology. People with a hearing loss generally have poorer health, higher levels of depression, higher levels of dementia and 20% are unemployed. Those who are employed have increased levels of sickness, limited opportunities and limited career progression. People with a hearing loss are twice as likely to have a mental health problem than an individual with normal hearing. Anecdotally, a person when they are younger may have been the life and soul of a party, but as they get older they may have developed a sensory neural hearing loss and find they cannot communicate in a noisy environment the way they used to. So rather than appear silly, they take themselves away from that situation and eventually become socially isolated and develop depression. The earlier a hearing loss is detected and a hearing aid fitted will improve the listening ability for the patient, reducing any future impact of a mental health condition. Statistics show that an individual with a mild hearing loss are twice as likely to develop dementia. Those with a moderate hearing loss are three times more likely to develop dementia and those with a severe hearing loss are five times more likely to develop dementia. There is no causal link between hearing loss and dementia at this time, but we do know that hearing loss does accelerate the rate of cognitive decline. So seeing an audiologist and getting a hearing aid fitted earlier should improve the outcomes for all patients. It is estimated £28 million can be saved if hearing loss is properly managed with people with severe dementia. By delaying the cost of admission into costly residential care, and evidence shows that hearing aids help manage and mitigate risks. Dementia is known to occur more frequently in the elderly, with 1 in 20 in the UK over 65 years of age, with 60% of that age group having a hearing loss, audiology intervention could significantly improve patient outcomes. We are now going to show you how to insert your mould properly.
we are now going to show you how to insert your open fit properly. We are now going to demonstrate how to clean your mould. We are now going to demonstrate how to clean your open fit. Now we are going to demonstrate how to operate your hearing aid. This is the volume control. This is the program button that changes the settings of your hearing aid. This is the microphone that does all the hearing for you. This is how to insert the battery. This is how to position the telephone to your hearing aid. We place the telephone receiver just above the microphone, which is slightly above your ear. Further instructions will be found in your fitting package. Thank you for taking the time to watch this film.